so we can see our daylight running light but on this side we've got a bulb belt so what's involved in changing the DRLs so firstly obviously we're just going to lift the bonnet up and a lot of people say that when you're changing bulbs on the course that sometimes you need to take the headlights all the way out but that's not always the case there are a few bits sometimes that you need to kind of remove or just move out the way such as over on this side for example if you're changing the main headlight you just need to remove the airbox a little bit but for the ones we're doing today just this daylight running light just up here it's a two filament bulb it's really simple it's literally it's just here so in the back you can just see maybe my finger up there you can see that thumb turn all we're going to do is just get that rotate it literally just a few degrees that way and then the whole bulb and fitment will come out so there we go really simple so you can just see kind of that locating lug there and if we look in the hole we can see you've got kind of that about eight millimeters less than that maybe of just where you basically push it in turn it and it just locks in position so with it out obviously we can see the bulb and we can see if we hold it up it's looking pretty dark it's a two like i say it's a two element bulb or two filament bulb which is why when you've got your daylight running lights on as we saw normally one of them is lit up but then when you put your side lights on the other one comes on so it's only one element that's filament that's gone on this bulb but obviously you can't change a separate filament so let's get a new bulb so the bulb you need for this one is a dual filament, like I say, 21 watt slash five watts. So you've got two filaments in there and we're going for the Bosch one today. So straight off of, I think these come from Amazon, just a few quid, something like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just remove the bulb out of the old holder. And you can see the electrical connections there, which is why there's no kind of plug on it or anything like that. So to remove it, all you need to do is basically just pull it. So I'll see if I can set the phone up and show you what I mean. So it's basically just sits in here and just give it a pull and away it comes and then you can see obviously how it fits in there just slides in simply as that so then with the new bulb obviously using gloves don't touch it with your bare fingers like i say we can just grab that basically insert it back into the fit fitting give it a push down there we go nice little click we know it's in place and then we can put it back in the back in the car okay so like i say so with this one, you've got this little lug on the right hand side and that goes to the right of the car. So all we need to do is make sure that we've got that on the outside. So we can go back into the fitting, poke the bulb in, push that in, give it a little twist. It just locks into place. We'll turn the ignition on and we'll just check out these lights. Okay, fantastic. There we go, working nicely. And this one is working nicely as well. We'll just turn the side lights on as well. We can see that that one's still working as normal. And we can see that this one's working as it should do as well. So there we go, all done. Okay, so hopefully that's been useful. If you found it useful, give us a little like down below. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe coming up here now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.